Hi guys, so today I have another video for you and today's video is going to be a September Q&A and I'm answering the questions you guys had for me on my last Q&A video and also if you guys want to ask me any questions for my next Q&A I do one every month you can just leave them down in the comment or I also ask on Instagram so you guys can follow me on my Instagram that is right here it is life as Mariana so let's just go right on to the video can you hear like the music that the neighbors are playing? <laughs> okay. So the first question is from Vanessa Mendoza. She was the winner of my last giveaway and she's just so nice. She always leaves a nice comment. So thank you for watching Vanessa. And then she asked what I'm studying in college. So I'm actually not 100% sure what I'm studying. You good? I'm actually not 100% sure what I'm studying in college. I um, moved here to New York right now and I actually don't start um, going to college till January. I'm gonna be going to a community college for maybe two years, like taking any classes that I'm interested in, like any art class in the end. That way I can actually see what I want to do because I, I definitely know I want to do something artsy. I'm between fashion, film or maybe even like sculpture i just like doing a lot of stuff so maybe if i can combine all of that into one major that'd be amazing i know there's a lot of colleges that allow you to do that so yeah that might be oh they stopped they stopped <laughs> but yeah that's my current um okay then bianca mendoza which is also such a nice girl that's always commenting on my videos i really love your comments uh, she said what do you do to keep your face so nice and clear you have such beautiful skin thank you so much so actually what I use is um, two different products I was actually planning on doing like a night and morning routine um, but yeah let me know if you guys want to see that the one I use in the morning is this um, Setfil I feel I don't know how to pronounce it honestly sorry um, this oil control foam foam wash so basically um, it's like a, a foam that you just put water on your face and then you uh, clean your face with that and it helps to prevent but it does help I feel like um, prevent uh, me from getting like acne so yeah that's what I use in the morning and it also cleans your face so that's good and then at night before I go to sleep I just put water on my face and then I use this foam scrub uh, so this is from Neutrogena Neutrogena I don't know how to pronounce it either I'm sorry guys my English has just gotten worse I feel since I went to Cuba all I spoke was like Spanish and now like I feel like my English is so bad. So this it clears breakouts and it works so well like honestly I use it every night and I've seen the improvement so I really recommend this one. And then Nino Santos asks will this question be featured in the September Q&A? Oh my god guys I'm sorry if I'm like sweating it's just really really hot out here. I was like thinking oh I'm going to New York I'm gonna be freezing I need to take all my jackets I need to take all my sweaters and like no like right now it's like freaking hot. Yeah it says it's 86 degrees but feels like 90 so okay so now going on to the Instagram questions. Ana Jimenez asks, why did you move to New York City? So, going back to that question about what I'm going to study and stuff, I just thought that if I wanted to do something related to art, coming here to New York was the best option. And also the fact that New York is like a place where you go if you want to like get life experiences. I personally feel like it's not the place where you stay and live your whole life because it is very tiring it takes a lot of you so I was thinking like okay what better moment than going right now when I'm young like I don't have any like major responsibilities right now everybody says that when they come here they learn so much it's just like a place that really makes you work for everything you do but there's a lot of opportunities so <sighs> sorry there was a bug on my screen on my lens <laughs> so yeah so yeah so yeah it's like a place that you come here and if you work hard you'll get like somewhere I've just and also two of my favorite colleges are here Pratt and Parsons so my plan a little bit is to go to community college right now before I actually choose my major and then transferring so this guy that his Instagram is out 
Alpiasker. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. But he's been watching my videos for a long time and I really appreciate every time he comments or sends me messages. It's so nice. Um, but he said, what do you think about long distance relationships? Guys, let me tell you. I was in a long distance relationship for a long time. Um, and they are interesting. That's the first thing I would say. Uh, they are very complicated because it's hard to not be able to be with the person that you want to be with uh, physically. You know, like not being able to go out with a person, the only thing you can do is be through that, with that person through a screen, which is absolutely not the same thing. Yeah, I think they're doable. Like if I was again in that situation where I had to be in a long distance relationship, I probably would think it over a lot more because it was a really difficult time for both of us. Okay, so uh, Juliet Montiel, which is one of my best friends, she said, are you thinking about visiting your Befita, that's how I call her, um, in Europe? So yeah, uh, you know I'm coming for you. She actually moved to France like this year. We're both in our own little adventures. Um, so we're planning to do a little trip. And she actually has a YouTube channel as well, so I'm just gonna link it down below. She does like little lifestyle vlogs. Um, and she lives in Europe, so they're amazing. So you guys should go check her out. And then uh, a bunch of my friends from Florida asked me uh, when I was going, and I'm so sad to say this, but like I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to go anytime soon because my stepsister's wedding is in October, so I'm gonna be traveling. And then I'm going in December to Mexico to visit my family over there. So I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to go to Florida, but I really, 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 really want to go there. I want to go see all my friends. I want to see my family over there. I want to see my cat. I want to see my dog. I just want to go back <laughs> to visit. And it's only been like, it's not, it hasn't even been a week here. <laughs> uh, okay. And then another friend of mine from Mexico asked me when I was going uh, to Querétaro, which is where I'm from. And I'm going in December, like I'm so old, so I'll see you soon, Fed. And all of my friends from Mexico that some of you I know watch my videos, so <laughs> uh, we should definitely hang out when I go. Sorry guys, my battery just died. But yeah, we should definitely see each other. Sorry, those are my knees. <laughs> um, we should definitely see each other when I go. And I miss Mexico. <laughs> But yeah, guys, that's all I have for you today. I wanted to say something before I leave. I'm gonna start doing my videos instead of Tuesday. I'm gonna start posting on Saturdays and then every other Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, but I'll see you on Saturday. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you like um, this Q&A videos. Obviously, leave me some questions down below so I can answer them on my um, next month's Q&A. And if you want to ask some questions about New York, I'll answer them. <laughs> okay, so I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.